Hi, I'm from Teach Me Anatomy, and in just over two minutes, I'd like to talk about the borders, contents, and clinical relevance of the popliteal fossa. So what is the popliteal fossa? It is an anatomical space located behind the knee joint, and it's the main pathway by which structures enter and leave the lower leg. It is diamond shaped with four muscular borders. The superior borders are formed by the muscles in the posterior compartment of the thigh. The superior lateral border is formed by the biceps femoris and the superior medial border by the semimembranosus. The inferior borders are formed by the two heads of the gastrocnemius and the plantaris. As I mentioned earlier, the popliteal fossa acts as a conduit for neurovascular structures to enter and leave the leg. The popliteal artery, popliteal vein, tibial and communal fibular nerves all pass through the popliteal fossa. Whilst the artery, vein and tibial nerve pass straight down the middle, the common fibular nerve runs along the lateral aspect of the fossa, following the tendon of the biceps femoris. Also within the popliteal fossa, the small saphenous vein, a superficial vein of the leg, empties into the popliteal vein. The most common problem with the popliteal fossa is the appearance of a swelling or a mass. One possible cause of this is an aneurysm of the popliteal artery. This is where the wall of the artery becomes weak and the lumen dilates. A popliteal artery aneurysm can compress the tibial nerve, producing sensory and motor deficits in the lower leg. The other common cause of mass in the popliteal fossa is a baker's cyst. A baker's cyst refers to inflammation and swelling of the semimembranosus bursa, a fluid-filled sac found in the knee joint. This inflammation usually results from arthritic changes in the knee. Other less common causes of popliteal swellings include deep vein thrombosis, adventitial cysts and skeletal muscle tumours.